What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome all my new subscribers. I want to take a second and thank each and every single one of you guys out there that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. I just want to let you know I appreciate it to the fullest. It means the world to me, so thank you very much. You guys, we are on episode three of Operation Mini. If you guys haven't seen episode one and episode two, jump back on my channel and watch episode one and two before you watch episode three because this is going to be the fun part the correction and protection of the exterior paint uh, i'm going to be protecting the trim as well uh, i just want to bring you guys all along with me on this journey because you guys wanted the mini series so i've been having a lot of fun shooting this and uh, sharing with you guys so you guys have seen me prep the exterior you see me clean the interior and now we're moving on to my favorite part which is correcting the paint making it pop and protecting it and making it silky smooth i love it so uh there's not much more to say guys i want to jump right in to showing you the paint before i do keep in mind there's going to be a few of you that that wonder why i'm tackling the hood a little bit different especially if you're just watching episode three and you haven't watched one and two. The whole front end had a PPF, which is paint protection film, um, on the front end. So the paint underneath it is actually in really good shape. There is very minor scratches and swirls in it. So I'm going to be just attacking it lightly, guys. I, I don't need to go aggressive on the hood at all. It's already in really good shape. So the rest of the car, however, does have some pretty good swirls and scratches and love marks and a little bit of etching in it. I am not going for 100% perfection, but I do want to make this thing look good. So, um, without further ado, let's get out. Let's let's check the paint out on the mini, and then I'm gonna jump into a few things that I'm gonna be using. Get my cart set up, get my polisher set up, and we're gonna have some fun. All right, everybody. So as we jump into a quick walk around. As you can see here, there's already a lot of gloss in the hood, thanks to the PPF protecting it. And you can see here, very, very minor swirls, light scratches and swirls. Really nothing too major, and most of those I caused from removing the, um, the residue from the PPF. So, most of that I caused, nothing terrible, so we don't really need to attack the hood. Very, very hard or i should say aggressively there's a little spot there the ppf had actually had a little hole in it so that is etched in the, uh, through the ppf that had a little hole and a tear in it so we'll go ahead and take care of that and as you can see as we get around the car these pillars are absolutely trashed just just trashed guys there's no other word for it we're gonna see if we can take care of those for them. Bring a little gloss back to the pillars, remove a little bit of swirls. Now these pillars are, they can be tricky because uh, they're soft paint, so you just wanna be careful. You can see the roof here has a lot of etching, a lot of swirls, a lot of oxidation and, and staining. There's just, just everything on that top black piece. The paint itself really, it's not terrible. It's really not terrible. Plus, this blue does a good job at kind of hiding uh, imperfections. There you can see this nice scuff. Looks like a door might have swung open and, and hit the door. So let's see if we can get that out and, and whatnot. There are some deep scratches in this thing that I'm not even going to worry about. I'm not even going to attempt to go and remove. It is not, you know, 100% perfect. So guys i'm just going to continue this walk around show you guys the condition of the paint before we jump into correcting
All right, everybody. So I got my detail cart all set up and I'm ready to go. I wanna go over a few things with you first. Make sure to put your gloves on, guys. Um, so for this, I'm gonna be using my Max Shine M15 Pro Series 2. I don't feel that I need the 21 millimeter because the defects, as you guys saw, the paint's really not that bad, guys. And I have a feeling it's on the softer side. Um, so I don't feel I need the 21 millimeter. Uh, let me go over a few products that I'm gonna be trying out. So if I need the heavy cut, I've got my Extreme Solutions Knockout here. This is their heavy cut. Also, I have the Extreme Solutions Finale, which is a soft paint or soft clear finishing polish. I've also got the Extreme Solutions 367 Ice polish. And then for the Pico Resistance, the icing on the cake is the Helios from Extreme Solutions. Here, nothing but fantastic stuff and I'm so excited to try this. So, as you guys saw, the hood really is not that bad. And I wanna touch on a, on a subject real quick, guys, because a lot of people out there are just starting out and they're new and they kind of uh, don't really understand the process, but I like to start least aggressive method possible. Why do you start the least aggressive method is because you want to preserve your clear coat, guys. You don't want to take off more than is needed. So yeah, sure, you could jump in with a correction pad and a, and a, and a heavy compound and you can get some good results. But had you tried a, a little bit softer of a pad, a little bit of an, a less aggressive, you know, polish, and you could have got some fantastic results as well, thus saving that little bit of extra clear that you didn't need to take off in the first step. So I always recommend starting out by a, a very, you know, soft polish pad with a, a, with a fine polish, testing a spot and seeing what, how it reacts seeing how the clear reacts to you. It could be a really soft clear and you just, you are thrilled with the results you got from that soft pad and polish. Hey, if I would have used the orange correction pad, it, I would have seen great results, but I would have taken off way more clear than I needed. So you want to preserve your clear coat because that is what protects your paint. It's not the, the wax and the, the coatings and everything that you put on. Yeah, that is an aid to help protect your clear, but if your clear is ultra thin, it can only get you so far, guys. So protect and preserve your clear coat is the key. Remove off as little as possible with, uh, with what you got, and you'll be fine. So that's why I start out with, a, uh, with a, a less aggressive method, because if you guys remember the Subaru BRZ I did, that thing turned out fantastic, and I touched it with the ultra fine polish pad, and I was, I was happy. Had I jumped in with a, even an orange correcting pad or even the yellow Rubez pad, I would have been taking off more clear than I needed. So hopefully you guys take something from that. I got set up, I got all my polishes, my compounds. I've got my paint prep here. I've got the PNS paint coating service prep. I forgot I had up there. And I'm gonna use this and see how I like it. Um, yeah, guys, there's nothing much more to it. Um, I'm excited. So let's team up this finale with the ultra fine Rupes finishing pad with my M15 Pro Series 2 from Max Shine and let's see what kind of results we can get on the hood. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this guys. I've got my 496 finale from Extreme Solutions here. This is a soft paint finishing polish designed for softer clears that can be finicky, especially black. Uh, when you're trying to finish out after a cut, you get hazy, you get swirl marks. Um, and this finale is designed to finish out, especially on soft paint. So this is probably a very, very non-aggressive method and way to see how the clear is going to react to what I'm throwing at it. And the polishing pad that I'm using is the Ultra Fine Rupes White Polish Pad. This is a very, very non-aggressive method, and I would just want to see how the clear is going to react, although there is not many defects in this hood, so I knew that a light approach was the way to go no matter what, and um, we're just going to do some passes here and see if this very light combo was enough to remove those light defects, and if it is, then 
So be it. If not, then I'm going to bump up my pad. So as you guys can see here, it did an awesome job. Very, very little bit of defects still left in the hood, and I'm talking very, very minor. That combination actually did work very well. I know that there are a few little tiny stragglers, so what I'm going to do is bump up to a yellow pad and see what that gets me. Alright, so I'm going to be sticking with Finale here, guys. I'm just bumping up my pad to the yellow pad. This is going to give me just a little bit more cut, hopefully, than what I'm looking for. Like I said, I didn't want to bump up to a compound because that would probably be too aggressive. So when you find yourself in this situation, guys, instead of trying to reach for a different compound or polish, try swapping your pad out first for something a little more aggressive. That way, yeah, I probably could have switched to a compound and it would have removed the defects, but knowing how little amount of defects, I'd be removing clear that I didn't want to remove. So I'm, I'm doing these steps and, and, and mainly aiming for those guys out there that are new to polishing and they're wondering what pad and combo to use and how to step up aggression if they need more cut. And there's multiple ways and taking your time. Uh, instead of rushing to, to, to get the defects out is the way to go. So I'm hoping I'm hoping you guys out there can take something from this. And, and I appreciate you guys watching. So yeah, I'm going to do some passes with this yellow Rupes pad and uh, see what it gets me. Right, so as we come in and look I am very happy with the results it, it got me what I wanted so I'm sticking with the yellow pad and I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of this hood and move on all right so here's my first test section I'm gonna be using my Griot's garage g8 and the Extreme Solutions LVR 367 Ice Polish. Now this is the first section I'm going to be doing uh, after the hood that I know has a good, a decent amount of defects. So like I said, I'm going to start light. I know that Finale really isn't going to give me what I want, especially uh, as far as defect removal because there is a lot more defects on the rest of the car than the hood. So I'm going to use my G8 here. I'm going to do a few passes with my yellow Rupes pad. And I'm just going to see how it reacts to, to this combination. All right. So as I get you guys off the tripod and bring you in a little bit closer to see there is still a decent amount of defects left in the, in the clear here. And that's telling me, okay, uh, I need to, I need to step it up a little bit. Let's step it up to something a little bit more aggressive. So I'm going to be reaching for my extreme solutions knockout. This is their heavy cut compound. And I'm going to put a few drops on my pad. Obviously, you always want to shake up your compounds really well, guys. I'm going to put a few drops on my pad, and I'm going to go back in, and I'm going to do a few more passes and see if this will give me what I need before I have to step up aggression in pads. So as I bring you guys in again, 
with the knockout you can definitely see it made a big improvement but there's still some swirls that I want to go after so this is telling me okay it's time to bump up aggression in pad now so what I'm gonna reach for here is my three inch Griot's Garage orange foam correcting pads I'm gonna be sticking with knockout but I'm gonna be using my orange foam correcting pads from Griot's Garage a little bit stiffer and it's gonna provide me a little more cut if I could get my compound out of my bottle I, I could start <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is the same process here I'm gonna get it on the paint I had a little bit too much compound and you'll see I kind of go uh, a little bit off to the right and spread out that compound a little more but same process I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do some passes and I'm gonna come back and check my work Alright, so as we come in and take a look at what this orange Griot's foam pad can do, it did an excellent job, removed a really good amount of defects, still some little stragglers left behind that I'm going to be going after. So that's telling me my knockout is doing good, now I just need to bump up my aggression. So next pad I'm going to be using is the Eurofiber 5050 pad, and that should get me where I need to be. So before we jump onto the door and start correcting, since I already know what pad I'm gonna be using, I wanna address these uh, pillars here. You guys, these things are just absolutely trashed. Now you don't wanna go too aggressive on these because for one, they are thin and they are soft and they are plastic. Now plastic cannot dissipate heat as fast as a me as metal can so when you're working on plastic you got to just be careful i'm using my orange three inch griots pad with three two one knockout on my griots garage g8 i keep the speed down to around four on my polisher and what you want to do is you don't want to apply too much pressure and you want to keep the polisher moving you don't want to build up too much heat and risk uh, causing any damage so I'm going to go ahead and tackle this and then bring you guys in for a look. All right. So as you guys can see here, before I even put my light on it, humongous difference. But we really did a, a phenomenal difference. Now, if you look closely, you can see a little bit of micro marring and just a little bit of haziness left behind. That is from the, the knockout is a heavy cut, even though I used a foam pad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you guys set up and I'm going to grab my my finale, which is designed for soft paint finishing. And we're going to go ahead and finish this thing out and see the difference in before and after finishing it. Now that we went ahead and finished it out with the finale you guys can see big difference in removing the haze and the micro marring from the upper portion it looks fantastic they look absolutely killer so that's the that's the one two combo that i'm going to stick with and we're going to get it done all right so here on the driver's side door i'm gonna use my 321 knockout the heavy cut from extreme solutions teamed up with the Eurofiber 5050 pad and I'm gonna do a few passes and I'm gonna come in and check out the defect removal and see what it can get me and how the clear is reacting to this Eurofiber 5050 pad 
Now I have not touched this side of the paint, so this is gonna give me a good indication of if I'm gonna be able to do the rest of the car with this combination. So after a few passes with the Eurofiber 5050 pad, we can see here through this tape line, it did a pretty, pretty good job. Um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with the Eurofiber 5050 pad. Um, will I bump up? I may bump up just to see if I can get a little more cut out of a microfiber pad. And uh, I, I know I'll be happy then. So let's finish up. Let's get a few more things done on the car and uh, make this thing look good. So bringing you guys in here after doing a two-step with the knockout and then using the finale huge huge difference here guys is it perfect no way i wasn't trying to make the roof perfect i was just trying to restore some clarity and some gloss and that is exactly what it did as you can see here phenomenal phenomenal difference and i achieved exactly what i was going for All right, everybody, so I know that this video has been a majority of a voiceover, but I wanted to let you guys know that I did that whole other side with my Eurofiber pad. I apologize for the traffic in the back. So I did that whole other side with my Eurofiber pad. And although uh, it did work, I just needed a little bit more cut. 
So what I did was I jumped up to my Griot's Garage Boss microfiber cutting pad and it gave me a little bit more cut that I need. And one thing I'm, I wanna mention here real quick, guys, this thing gets clogged up really quick. So one thing I noticed is these Griot's Boss microfiber pads are really thick. They got a lot more fibers, so they can hold. They can hold a lot more uh, liquid. They can hold a lot more of the knockout. And with the knockout, you want to use a little bit more than you would normally. Um, so I just wanted to add that in there. Uh, I apologize if I'm yelling, but the Griot's Boss microfiber pad, and this is what it's getting me, as you guys can see in my paint light, compared to over here. This one doesn't really help much, but fantastic results. See if we could slide down here. This paint is beautiful. We're not going after perfection, but I want it to look really good. All right, so now that we got the car all cut and polished to our liking, you guys, the car looks absolutely beautiful. But here I'm just gonna add some icing on the cake, the cherry on top. This is the LVR 404 Helios from Extreme Solutions. They're foam pad polishing glaze. I have my black finishing pad here from Griot's Garage. Uh, uh, the Helios uh, can, can be used to fill minor scratches and swirls left over in the paint. Um, and if you are going to take advantage of the acrylics and the filling capabilities of this Helios, you're going to want to give it 24 to 48 hours to fully cure those acrylics before you come in with a light paint prep or IPA wipe. Uh, you're going to want to spray into your towel, not onto the panel. Do a light wipe down and then you can apply your protection right on top of the Helios. But in my case, guys, I'm just looking for that that last bit of gloss that I can bring out. And this stuff works phenomenal. I cannot recommend it more than I'm already recommending it. It is a fantastic product. There's virtually, it looks like there's nothing going on the paint, which is awesome because I used one pad around the whole car, one towel, it does not gum up, beautiful product. And it does add that nice gloss, that icing on the cake. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing up before we move on to the next stage of protection. So now that we got the car all polished up with the Helios, I'm moving on to my next step. Here you see me misting the panel with water. Some of you guys that know, already know what product I'm gonna be reaching for and that is the Extreme Solutions Poly Seal. You guys, I'm actually, I'm, I'm really loving this stuff. I got my wet applicator block here, a few sprays into my applicator block or microfiber ap applicator pad, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and you just, you just, spread it out until it starts to kind of disappear on itself and then you you buff it off and at first it, 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 it may be a little weird applying it as a wet application but it actually works very well it's not difficult to remove and a little bit goes a long way so here I'm just gonna get everything spread out and then I'm gonna take my nice plush 500 GSM edgeless microfiber towel and I'm gonna use that to buff it off and then the gloss and slickness is going to be absolutely insane and then we're going to be happy so let's let's get this done and let's move on to the icing on the cake
right, you guys know what time it is. It's topper time. Extreme Solutions Topper is a fantastic, phenomenal, amazing. I don't know how much more I can say about it, but this stuff is fantastic. It, if it's your first time hearing about Topper, this Topper is exactly what it says it is. A Topper, a universal Topper to any form of protection that you may have on your car, truck, SUV, motorcycle, anything. It can be used as a topper. I mean, if your car is ceramic coated, topper. You got a Carnuba, topper. You got a sealant, topper. This stuff is just phenomenal. The ease of use is incredible. The slickness is just insane. It's out of this galaxy. And you guys know I love it. So here it's gonna be the icing on the cake, that last bit of gloss, shine, and slickness I'm gonna apply to the Mini Cooper. And, uh, and then we'll be all done, guys. All right, everybody. We are done. Look at this thing. Man, this thing looks good. Hours and hours into this thing and it has paid off. You guys, check out the gloss. As Aaron would say, fourth dimension level gloss here, guys. Oh man, I'm so excited. This thing turned out absolutely fantastic. I know I say that a lot, but man, 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 man. Does the paint look good? It sure does. It's not perfect. By all means, it is not perfect. I wanna say I got around 80% maybe 85% correction out of this thing. But man, man, man. Man, like there's a big old long scratch there. There was nothing I can do about that. I wasn't wet sanding. But man, you guys, this thing turned out awesome. Got the black nice and glossy. Got rid of all the oxidation on this, this plastic spoiler here. The back turned out great. The gloss is just insane. Now I don't have any sunlight left, but best believe I'm gonna get you guys some sunlight so you guys can see the finished product inside and out. This thing turned out great. He's probably not gonna even wanna sell it after this. The gloss is just insane. Just absolutely insane gloss. The reflection is just, man. I'm so excited. I'll give you guys the quick walk around here. Look, oh, man. Well, there you guys have it. Operation Mini Episode 3. That's a wrap.
All right, everybody, we are on a quick final thoughts segment. We are complete. Operation Mini is done. Episode three here, guys, and I am absolutely blown away at the transformation of this car. Um, just, I don't think he's gonna wanna sell this thing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to keep this final thoughts a, a little short, but I do wanna run down all the products that I used, uh, starting with the correction. Uh, so I started out using the LVR 496 Finale. This stuff is fantastic. For the heavier cut, I went to my 321 Knockout. Absolutely fantastic product. The LVR 367 Ice. This stuff is killer. I've been, I was just kind of experimenting with all, all these two because I've never used Finale. I've never used Knockout. I did use the, the, the Ice a little bit before, but not too much. And I also used the Helios. Oh, I am in love. I'm in love with all these products. They worked fantastic. The Knockout, the Knockout has a, to me, it has a little short, it has like kind of a short cycle time. I talked with Aaron. Um, they're working on getting a little more lubrication uh, in it, but I just call it a short cycle time and I had no issues. I still got one up and down, side to side, up and down, side to side, four, almost five passes uh, before I didn't see it really. Uh, so I just had to kind of find the sweet spot with this stuff. And then I tried a little bit of knockout with a few drops of ice. Killer combo, guys, killer combo. I was playing around all day. I even added um, some finale in with the, the knockout on a on a foam pad it worked awesome i'm just playing around having fun fantastic results at the end after the correction i did i did the helios that was the uh the fourth dimension the fourth dimension secret right there as aaron would tell me fourth dimension gloss uh for protection i went ahead and i hit it with the poly seal and then i topped it with my favorite topper uh, fantastic products here. The gloss and the slickness is just next level, guys. I promise you. Um, for the, I use my PNS paint surface coating prep. This stuff is freaking fantastic. I'm probably gonna end up buying more of this. It's fantastic. Uh, for tires, I used my Wowos Tire Restore. Nice, perfect jet black satin finish. I love it. Uh, for the fender flares, the plastics, I use my CarPro Pearl One to One. That's what I used on the uh, the little plastic flares that go over the tires. Uh, and these are all the pads I use, guys. This is this is what playing around, trying to find the right sweet spot, seeing what you're working with, how the clear is going to react. Uh, this is what it looks like. So, what I ended up using was I ended up going to my M21 Pro, my 21 millimeter, and the Griot's Garage Boss Microfiber Cutting Pad. The, the clear on this was pretty stubborn. Uh, so that actually worked really good. The Eurofiber pad worked really good, but since it's really thin and the fibers are very short, uh, it gets clogged up really quick. These boss pads can hold a little more, uh, a little more compound. And with the knockout, you got to load it up a little more than you would normally with different compounds. So that's what I was learning as well. So these Griot's Garage boss microfiber pads teamed up with the, the M21 Pro fantastic fantastic combo finished out with the helios and then topped with the poly seal on topper i mean this thing is next level fantastic i love it uh, on the hood all i used was a yellow rupes pad and the finale and that was pretty much all it needed very light uh love marks and scratches and stuff like that so the, the front end was lucky luckily it was it was pre protected by the ppf so didn't have too much work to do on that. But you guys, I am absolutely blown away. As you guys could see, this thing looked fantastic. I am whooped. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this series and this style video. Please, if you did, drop it in the comments. Let me know if you liked it. Um, uh, if you like this content, sorry guys, I am whooped. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel. 
smashing that thumbs up for me. Click that little notification icon bell that way when I upload more videos or do more series or product reviews or paint corrections, you'll get notified by clicking that bell. And I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you guys that take the time out of your day to watch and support my channel. It means the world to me. And I hope you guys all out there have a fantastic day, night, evening, whatever it is where you're at right now watching. And I'm gonna catch you guys all on the next video.